All right, guys, KB32 here, check it out. We're sitting over here in the Freedom office. And uh, I tell you what, man, I'm feeling really good today. Got my cup of coffee. We're rocking and rolling. Uh, I'm making this video because uh, earlier this morning, I was sitting there watching Guns and Gear, one of my favorite channels. Just love that guy. So anyway, he was uh, putting out this thing about the ATF letter that was leaked out concerning the rare breed and the wide open triggers and uh, how they were going to go ahead and start looking to uh, get those things back out of population because they have considered them to be uh, by themselves machine guns. Okay, so made a couple other phone calls, uh, talked to some other folks. I'd like to thank John Crump. He was a great guy. Uh, John Crump News, check out his channel and uh, talk to him. And I thought it would be a good thing to reach out to, uh, uh, unofficially, but uh, kind of official, BDU, Big Daddy Unlimited. And uh, talked to a good friend over there, and he informed me that, uh, yeah, this actually, uh, the, not, not, it's not a raid. It's a visit by the ATF, um, not a raid where they come in storming and bushing down doors and seizing computers and names and figures and everything else. But they were uh, basically walked in there and said, uh, "If you got any any of these triggers here, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna take them with us." And uh, I guess they did. I don't know. Uh, but in any case, um, what they did not do, okay, and this is the very important part of this whole conversation, um, because man. I actually uh, just went out and bought a canoe uh, to go do my uh, offshore uh, canoe trip. You know, you know what I'm saying? So anyway, uh, what they did not do is they did not seize computers. They did not seize records of sales. Okay. Um, the letter that they were re referencing, and then we talked about this in a little detail, but the letter that uh, people are referencing it is, is directed towards manufacturers. It's directed towards uh, distributors and retailers. Not one place did they mention uh, individuals, you, me, everybody else. So um, with that being said, that would lend itself to thinking that, hey, maybe, maybe we're safe. You know, uh, maybe uh, as an individual, they're still going to probably, in my opinion, and talking with some other individuals out there, uh, they're going to probably treat this thing like they did the bump stock. Okay, when they determined that the bump stock turned your firearm into a full auto, uh, then you you are uh, upon you <laughs> uh, at your duty to uh, uh, what am I saying? Uh, turn them in or destroy them. So, are they going to go around door to door? I, they possibly could if they had uh, purchase records. Uh, you know. I don't think that they will. That's just me. Uh, but, you know, that is like Mike was saying earlier this morning. You know, it, it's one of those things. They're going to come and take it or come and take it. So in any case, the whole thing is, again, um, this the letter was geared towards uh, manufacturers, distributors, and retailers. Uh, I will tell you this. I have confirmed that they didn't leave with any records, purchase records, or computers like they would in a normal raid where people were bashing down doors, seizing computers, hard drives, things of that nature, and uh, going after these folks. So, yeah, pretty interesting stuff. So with that being said, guys, uh, let's see what happens. Who knows, man? If they're going to do door-to-door -door collecting these things, you know, get your canoes out, go fishing, do what you got to do. Uh, you know, I, I would hope that these guys won't show up door to door with a warrant. Uh, I don't know what I would do because I'm basically out of town all the time anyway. But with that, you may want to consider going ahead and pulling them out of the firearm that you have now because that could just uh, get your ass in a lot of, in a sling uh, if you're out at the range and you're doing full auto stuff and, uh, or not full auto, simulated full auto with the force reset trigger because their day in court is not done and i was told they're they're still in the fight okay uh big daddy unlimited is still in the fight trying to defend this thing and listing it, uh people as defendants i'm not sure if that's uh something that i'm too concerned about right now uh but you know what jumping on the bandwagon with a story i don't want to go on with a bunch of clickbait stuff okay um but yeah the, the day in court has not been had or allowed. They've just gone out there and they're going after, again, manufacturers, uh, distributors, and retailers just to take them out of the store, which is bullshit 
because in my opinion, if you're hauling stuff out of there without compensation, that's stealing. So with that being said, guys, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, interesting what's going to happen in the next couple of uh, weeks and months concerning this thing. John Crump's probably one of the better ones out there to get the information from. Uh, again, I saw this uh, via uh, Guns and Gear this morning, and then I reached out to John Crump and talked to him personally and in BDU because I wanted to get some insight from one of the or retailers uh, that's pushing these things. So with that being said, y'all let me know what your thoughts are down below. Uh, we always end them like this. God bless America. God bless those men, women in uniform 24 seven for our freedom. Cause freedom is not free. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. If you have not already done so KB 32, I am out of here. Y'all be good. Boom.